Hello friends, this is Manpreet from a nursing school. So welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'll start with the MCQs on topic myasthenia gravis. So I'll try to give the conceptual clarity on the topic in MCQ form. So do watch the video till the end and subscribe my channel nursing scoop if you have not subscribed yet and press the bell icon so that you receive all latest notifications. So let's start the questions. Question number 11. A nurse is educating a client about pathophysiology of myasthenia gravis. Which statement given by the nurse shows adequate knowledge regarding myasthenia gravis? Option A is destruction of nerve cells resulting into deficiency of dopamine. Option B is a decreased number of functioning acetylcholine receptor sites. Option C is genetic defect in production of acetylcholine. And option D is both B and C. So in this question, they are asking about exact cause or etiological factor of masthenia gravis. So read the options very carefully and guess the correct option. So here the correct option is B. So why option B is correct? Here is the rational. So here are the two images. The first image represents the normal neuromuscular junction. So in the normal conditions, the acetylcholine released from the presynaptic membrane and get attached to the acetylcholine receptors on a postsynaptic membrane. So basically this acetylcholine stimulates the receptors which leads to the muscular contraction. But in cases of myasthenia gravis, about 80% of the patient have antibodies against these acetylcholine receptor sites. So these antibodies bind to the postsynaptic receptors due to which the postsynaptic receptors get blocked which prevent the muscular contraction. So this myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disease. And deficiency of dopamine is not seen in case of myasthenia gravis. It is related to the Parkinson disease. And there is no genetic defect in production of acetylcholine. So these two options are incorrect. So test taking strategy to solve this question. So just recall one thing, Masthenia gravis is an autoimmune disease and this autoantibodies causes the destruction of acetylcholine receptors which interfere with the transmission of normal nerve impulse at a myoneural junction. So this all will direct you to correct option B. So moving to our next question, question number 12. So Tensilone test is prescribed for a patient experiencing muscle weakness, double vision and ptosis, the increase in which factor will confirm the myasthenia gravis? Option A is consciousness, option B is symptoms, option C is muscle strength and option D is blood pressure. So in case of myasthenia gravis, which factor will increase after the tensilone test? So correct option is C. So why option C is correct? Here is the rationale. In client with myasthenia gravis, a test dose of adrophonium, which is an anticholinesterase drug, causes a transient improvement in a muscle part. So the increased muscle strength is a correct option here. So this adrophonium is an anticholinesterase drug. So this increases the availability of acetylcholine, which helps in a temporary reduction of the symptoms. So level of consciousness is not affected with the adrophonium and this adrophonium may cause the hypotension as it is side effect. Test taking strategy. Read the question very carefully and note the strategic word increase of which factor will confirm the myasthenia gravis. And recalling that the client symptoms improves temporarily with the adrophonium injection in case of myasthenic crisis will direct you to correct option. C. So moving to our next question, question number 13. So this question is for you. A client is admitted to the hospital with diagnosis of myasthenia gravis. For which clinical manifestation should nurse assess the client? Option A is drooling and rigidity with the jerky movements. Option B is stoop posture 
एंड ब्रेडिकाइनेजिया ऑप्शन सी इज ट्रेमर्स इन हैंड एंड फिंगर्स एंड मास्क लाइक फेस एंड ऑप्शन डी इज टॉसल्स डिप्लोपिया वीकनेस एंड डिसफेजिया सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू रूल आउट द क्लिनिकल सिम्टम्स ऑफ माइस्थेनिया ग्रेविस already i have given the hint in a previous question so just pause the video and put your answers in the comments question number 14 nurse is preparing to help a neurologist with conducting a tensilon test which antidote should be available in case of a emergency so these are the options option a is protamine sulfate option b is naloxone option c is acetyl cysteine and option d is atropine sulfate so guess the correct option here you have to write the antidote of adrenophonium correct option is d so why option d is correct here is the rational so adrenophonium is a short acting cholinergic agonist so basically it increases the availability of acetylcholine so in case of overdose of adrenophonium we always need a antidote which is a atropine so atropine is basically a anticholinergic agent it reverses the effects of the adrenophonium test taking strategy so if you have a difficulty in solving these type of questions so just review the pharmacological action of a various drugs and review the various type of the antidotes available in case of the overdose so here the correct option is d as atropine is a antidote to the adrenophonium so moving to the last question of today's video which of the following is not a recommended treatment option for a client with myasthenia gravis option a is immunosuppressive therapy option b is thymectomy option c is cholinesterase agents and option d is plasma pharesis so which of the following is not a recommended treatment option for a client with myasthenia gravis so correct option is c so option c is correct as cholinesterase medications are not used to treat the myasthenia gravis and anticholinesterase medications like neostigmine are the treatment of choice and immunosuppressants are used as it is a autoimmune disease and plasma pharesis is a plasma exchange therapy it is used in various kind of the autoimmune diseases and uh, myasthenia gravis is also autoimmune disease so this plasma pharesis is a treatment option for myasthenia so thymectomy is a surgical remover of the thymus gland so thymectomy can be performed if there is involvement of the thymus gland as myasthenia gravis is also linked to the thymus gland so 10 to 20% of the myasthenia gravis patient have a tumor of the thymus gland so time for the test taking strategy so review the pathophysiology of disease if you have a difficulty in solving this question and knowing that the anticholinesterase medications increase the existence of acetylcholine will direct you to correct option c all right guys so that's all about the today's video so i'll make one more video on a same topic myasthenia gravis to cover the few things like myasthenic crisis cholinergic crisis and the treatment modalities So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like the video then please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel nursing scope and also don't forget to put your feedback in the comment section friends nursing scope is also on our facebook so do like and follow there as well so thank you so much for watching this video till the end so very soon we'll see you in our next video so till that time stay tuned stay safe thank you